Okay, everyone. There's some onion and some carrots that I got over at the community lot. And I've spiced them up with a little bit of the spicy brown mustard. And uh, <coughs> this cute fluffy bunny in my paw. And here is going to be part of tonight's dinner. And if you want to see how to harvest those, there are plenty of videos that I have done so far in the past. You can go back and look at them. But I'm just not going to take the time to show you tonight. There's, as I said, I've done it at least four or five times throughout this last 30 days. Go back and look at them. And, uh, all right. Okay, everyone, this is the ribs and the uh, backbone that I'm sticking inside the teapot along with the rest of tonight's soup mixture and that will add some flavor in there and then we'll remove those in the end. All right. Okay, so I've just now added the onion and the carrot. So there's onion, carrot, rice, and rabbit in there. And that's cooking up. And an interesting note that that onion and that carrot was spiced with the spicy brown mustard that was part of my trade box for the 30 days. And an interesting note on that spicy brown mustard that I've learned over these 30 days is that if you cook it, it brings on more of a lemony, citrus flavor to it. And also still has a little bit of that spice kick. So therefore, it's very interesting, different. It doesn't taste like mustard at all. So I suggest people trying to cook with it a little bit. All right. And real quick, one sprig of rosemary just to add some flavor, more flavoring in there. All right, that's what's gonna make the soup base for tonight's project. Okay, that's all my rabbit meat there, all cut up. And that's every piece of the rabbit except for the back, or excuse me, except for the front legs, because I'm saving those for something I might eat tomorrow. Even though tomorrow's not part of my 30 days, I come accustomed to having rabbit meat, so now I'm going to probably be eating it a lot more than I would have been in the past. Alright. All right, folks, there's my hollowed out zucchini. And I can only hollow out to about there, so it's still full zucchini down at the bottom. But that's plenty good enough for me. And it's gonna be an interesting little experiment. Over here, I'll take you. And there's my fried rabbit meat. And then we'll come over to the teapot. And in the teapot, we, yeah, I don't know what happened to my teapot lid today. It's missing. We've got zucchini, carrot, onion, and everything else. And I've just been kind of hoping to cook out the last of that water, but it doesn't look like it's gonna cook out, so we're gonna get started. All right. Okay, I'm now gonna add the rabbit to the soup mixture. And because there's still a little oil in there, I'm actually gonna do that by hand, so I don't get it all too, too greasy. Man, I'm going to snag me a piece of this rabbit right now, too, because this stuff is so good. It's like a bacon, almost. Oh, look at that piece. Nice and crispy. Mm. Okay. I'm going to stir this up. So I'm going to shove into this zucchini. And uh, way too hard to do that while holding a camera. So, see you soon. Okay, there it is. All completely wrapped up with kale leaves. And then around that, chicken wire. And ready for us to go put it in the coals. Okay. Okay. There it is. I got coals set up on either side of it. I'm just going to let that bake for a long time, hopefully, until everything's nice and soft at a slow temp where the fire's on the outside of it, not actually burning it like I did with the fish the first time I tried this method. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's been cooking about 20 minutes now, and you can see on either side it's the bottom is starting to get golden brown or blackened of the outer leaves. And when this is completely blackened, that's when I'll know everything inside is pretty much done. So we're just going to let that continue to cook for another 20 minutes or so. I mean, I want this to guarantee that the rice 
that I put in there is soft and, and that everything is finally cooked properly. Alright. It's going to be a tasty dinner tonight. Huh? Okay, there they are. Little zucchini rings stuffed with rice, onion, carrots, and rabbit. That's tonight's dinner, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this 30 days. And I hope you will go check out our new webpage that's just turned on a few minutes ago. ManaboofArms.com That's ManaboofArm.com or .org. They should uh, both bring you to the same website where you can see all sorts of old videos and uh, all sorts of new stuff. Even a new game that if you can beat my little game that I put on there. <coughs> this is a hori hori it is a shovel knife and I will send you a brand spanking new one of these from the factory if you can beat my game on the webpage so go check out plant a seed on our new webpage <laughs>